What's up, friends? Today, I'm doing something really different. Uh, another suggestion from my live stream, I'm reacting to news bloopers. I watch these anyway, so I was glad when someone suggested I react to them. So enough of my blah, blah. Let's check out some bloopers. I'm so pale. You're on it. Today, snow is crippling. In case you couldn't hear what she was thinking, I know she said today is snow is crippling. Internally, she was thinking, oh, shit. That's what anyone would think in that situation. DD mega doo doo. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> don't be sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't know how she got magda doo doo out of that, but uh, I've, I've had moments as a nightclub DJ. I've I've announced the wrong song and you want to talk about looking like a dipshit. Well, I mean, I guess it's not as bad as this. Well, I don't know. I, the reason I think it compares is when you've got a club full of drunks and you not just kind of. I announced, man, what was it? It was a, a rock song because the way I would do my mix. And everybody, like, ah, and as soon as I hit play, I'll never forget what it actually was. It was George Strait, Amarillo by Morning. I had got distracted and forgot to switch CDs. So, oh man, I, I caught a lot of shit for that. But <laughs> Magna Doo Doo. Oh, she said Doo Doo. Once it's turned on, the sign will spell out Deli Cat Essen. I know that everybody's desperate for help these days, but if you're going to be on the news, maybe you should find out how to say delicatessen before you have to say it. It's going to be areas of drist and mizzle. Uh, drist. I can actually sympathize because I've been there, but I still find it funny. Here's some other great town names. Latitz. Oh, it's li <laughs> If I lived there, that's how I would pronounce it. Latitz. Oh, it's <laughs> It is Latitz. It's fun to say. Uh, let's just watch that again. There's there's nothing to say about it, but <laughs> I love that. My closest experience to that personally was we were fishing one time and I had just seen a big ass water moccasin go by and my line got caught but it was right in front of me so I leaned over and I tried to pull out and I fell in. Oh, you should have seen me get out of that water. It was amazing. Well, the sign says that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Yeah. So if my math is correct, that's not an hour. That's not an hour, not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also... <laughs> a quarter. <gasps> oh my God. Four quarters doesn't equal an hour because it only gives you 15 minutes. Each quarter gets 15 minutes. Duh, that is an hour. It's that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Yeah. So if my math is correct, that's not an hour. That's not an hour, not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also, a quarter to <gasps> 15 minutes. Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. Time once again to get you caught up on your news headlines. For that, the Hamburglar. It's your birthday. I'll let it pass. <laughs> she ain't gonna let it pass. She's gonna smack the shit out of him when this is over. <laughs> For that, the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. I'll let it pass. Thank you. No, mm. I won't. I'll get you later. Told you. <laughs> That's the kind of people I hang out with. And England skipper Andrew Strauss arrived in London proudly showing off the little urn. I'll spend four days at home before flying out for the World Cup. And Belinda, I just can't understand how something so small can be so impressive. Well, Mark, you would know about that. Thank you very much. Wow. 
they've either done it and had a bad breakup or she just don't like him. <laughs> There's got to be a reason for that one. Damn. Well, the best part is, you know, the guy that comes in and goes, oh, let me buy lunch today. You know, yeah. those guys. Yeah, are hey, those, let me, let me get right, it. Right, I got it. It's it. a two ninety nine burger. I'll buy lunch. But, okay, well, I don't mean to interrupt, yeah. but there's, can I try one of these? Courtney, I would love to see my meat in your mouth. So I've got a burger ready to go so for you. First time I've heard that. Wow, that was all over there. I think he said that on purpose, which, and she just openly, yeah, been there, done that. Well, she didn't say been there, done that. But. The roads in Susquehanna County have people effed up, uh, fed up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could have been worse. He could slip like I do. I mean, how many times I've lost my monetization on my live streams? Have people effed up. Check your panties. About 170. Yes. Check your panties, please. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> Check your panties. And Hugh Janus. Turning 10. We had mentioned. I'm sorry. What? what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, look, uh, I make name tags for one of the largest banking systems in the state. And some of the names I see come through there, I'm like, there is no way. I've called on some. Uh, one of the names I called on that I could not believe in, two of my friends who were teachers said that they both had students in their class with that name was A, B, C, D, E. And I was like, this can't be real. So when I messaged the bank to find out or check with the bank, they said, no, the name is pronounced Absidy. I've seen people with their first and last name rhyming, which I think is just cruel. <laughs> uh, your people, your family doesn't like you. Your parents don't like you. Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man. I've heard this story a million times, but I think it's hilarious. And responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. Man also <laughs> told police others in the room laugh. Uh, I use that phrase all the time. That's why I find it so funny. I say I'm going to blow that shit up, or you blew that shit up. I think that's hilarious. Quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but <laughs> had no intention of causing a panic. Here's what's ahead at six with anchor Joy Purdy. A Jacksonville man just won a million dollar jack off, jack pot. A million dollar jack off. And there we go. Uh, we'll see how these go. Uh, hopefully it's entertaining. It's something different, which is why I agreed to do it. And I normally watch these anyways. So, hey, if you're still here, I appreciate it. If not, it's okay. Hope you all have a great day. Make someone laugh if you get the chance. Don't forget to tell your friends and family each and every time you leave that you love them. Because you just never know. And that's going to be the last chance you get to tell them. Be safe, y'all. We are living in some crazy-ass times. Till next time, I am Bob Six. Peace.